Please stand behind the white line while the bus is in motion. Not yet. So. It's not like one dean and two potted plants or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Jennifer Jones. I'm a history professor when I'm not working as the dean of the Arts and Sciences Honors Program. <laughs> well, I'm writing a, a, a history of the urban enlightenment in the 18th century, sort of through the lens of a woman who was characterized as an illiterate laundress. Um, and it's not a biography of Therese Lavasseur, although there is a biographical sort of hook that leads us through each chapter. Um, so certain experiences that she had sort of then open up a set of questions about you know, sexuality or child rearing or ways of cooking even, um, ways of writing letters, um, relationships with animals, like all kinds of questions you can ask through her. Uh, tell us about like the kind of relationships you get to have with students in that role. I'm kind of like a floater. And so it's actually a really enjoyable role because um, I have a lot of students who come to see me and I give them advice and we talk and you know we share their, they share their lives with me and so on. Um, and sometimes I can resolve crises for them or problems for them. Um, but I don't have like a set caseload of students who I, that I'm responsible for. So I kind of feel like it's all the best parts of advising um, without the sort of, you know, filling out databases with like, has this student checked off this requirement and that requirement. It's a little bit more for free-floating advice. And I feel like actually students should take better advantage of the academic dean. I mean, you should get advice from as many people as possible, right? Um, which famous battle between the British Royal Navy and com the combined fleets of the French Navy and Spanish Navy took place on October 21st, 1805. I would have to say the Battle of Trafalgar. Thanks. That's an easy one. Um, <laughs> who became the British Prime Minister after Winston Churchill in 1955? Oh. I should know this. I actually just saw The Darkest Hour. Did you see The Darkest Hour? No. It's this wonderful film about uh, Churchill's response to the Nazis in, in May of 1940. I do not know. Tell me. Uh, Sir Robert Anthony Eden, the yes. first Earl of yes. Avon. Yeah. Um, so if any honors program students are similarly interested in any of the things we discussed today, uh, what would be a good way in which they could connect with you about one of those topics? They should just send me an email and tell me that they'd like to come meet with me in my lovely office here at the third floor of, of 35 College Avenue. We'll put your email right here on the yeah. screen. Yeah, it's easy. Um, and uh, are there any upcoming campus events this semester that you're especially looking forward to? Well, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the um, Richard D. Hefner Open Mind Lecture, which is going to be, I believe, the first Friday in April. And Lawrence O'Donnell, who is a journalist on MSNBC, is going to be the speaker, and he's going to talk about journalism and politics. And I think journalism and politics is a really interesting topic right now. Since Trump was elected, um, that's going to be a really big lecture. It's a really big coup for the honors program to get Lawrence O'Donnell to come and talk. The only thing that might be bigger is if you've got Rachel Maddow, but Lawrence O'Donnell is really super cool and uh, really learned, really smart, uh, really passionate about politics and journalism. I think it's going to be a really good talk. Today, I just wanted to say thank you for your time, for being on our first episode, and it was, it was our pleasure yeah. and honor to, to have you on the show. Yeah, well, this was really fun, Tyler. Thank you. So thanks, and this, I hope that you have many more fun interviews like this. It's going to be a really fun project for the whole honors program. I hope so, too. Yeah. Thanks.